Hello there, my name is Richard from Silent Peak and I'm going to show you how to use AI subject selective masking in ACDC Ultimate 2024 to take an image like this and turn it into something like this. Let's begin. So we're going to begin by going to masking and here we have some brand new options new to ACDC Ultimate 2024. We have AI subject, AI background, AI sky and some traditional masks in brushing, linear gradient and radial gradient. We're going to do AI subject. Now as you might expect doing so automatically masks our subject. If you find the mask to be imperfect and normally it is actually pretty good you have the ability to sort of add to the mask using careful brush strokes. This isn't something I want to go into today because let's be honest, it's very boring watching me just paint the mask on. So let's just presume this is perfect. And for our intent and purposes, it already is. We're going to start to edit our giraffe. And as we do, you will notice the background remains intact. So my vision is to sort of create a sort of punchy giraffe picture with an entirely black and white background. So I'm going to boost the exposure up. I'm going to dial a little bit of saturation. This photo is going to be pretty tasteless, by the way. I'll just warn you. I'm going to add a little bit of contrast, a little bit of clarity. And then already you can see we've traveled quite far. If we go to show original, there's our sort of washed out giraffe versus our punchy technicolor giraffe. So let's consider our giraffe finished. Actually, let's do a tone curve. So here under the masking, we can go up to color EQ. We have various different controls over brightness, uh, hue and uh, contrast. We're going to go to tone curves though. And again, we're just going to add a little bit more punch to this giraffe. Okay, so there we go. Now it is, like I say, rather tasteless, but it's a good example. So that's one mask. Now on any given image, we can apply multiple masks. So we have one mask as in our subject, and we're gonna click on this plus icon here to add a new mask. So we click, it gives us our same options. So subject select, background select, and so forth. In this case, I am going to do a background. In case you're wondering, I could have duplicated the existing mask, inverted it, so the subject mask would basically invert to become a background mask, but this way is just more easier. So AI subject background, and as the name suggests, our background is now masked. So now we can basically start to reduce the exposure. Again, giving our giraffe, we can go it up really, it's just a matter of uh, preference. For this particular creative vision, we're kind of going the other way. I'm going to desaturate the background so we lose those greens and kind of turn it into a black and white sort of style. And um, I think that will pretty much do. We can add some tone curves. Make it the background crunch a little bit. We'll drop the shadows a little bit. And there we go. There is our incredibly vulgar technical giraffe with a monochromatic background. If you'd like to try this for yourself, you can. There's a link in the description below. But I hope that was useful. My name's Richard from Silent Peak and thank you for stopping by. Goodbye.